Hi, angels. I'm so glad that you're here. I've been waiting for you. If you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a chance. Um, I'm Auntie Angel. I am a little older than the rest of you, but I own all of my 56 years, and I've learned a lot, um, including that we have to lose the stigma of mental health. So a lot of my videos will be focused on anxiety attacks, panic attacks, um, anxiety disorders, depression. I'm not a doctor or counselor. I'm just me, but I have learned a few things. And if I can save you guys any pain or struggle, if you can learn from a mistake I made and not make it, I'm happy, honestly. That's some of my videos, but some of them are fun um, I do, I've, I've done, I think, three role plays so far, and some are collections, some are makeup. Uh, tonight, we're going to be doing self-care cards with affirmations. I, and if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. You guys know how much you mean to me. Um, but if everybody would like to subscribe, and make sure you're still subscribed, because apparently, um, if anyone has updated their phone recently, the subscription can go. I heard about this from a couple people. So, tonight, like I said, I got these cards from Amazon. And they're self-care cards. Affirmation. And I thought we would, we're not going to do all of them. There's 52. Um, but I thought maybe we could do a few and maybe help each other out. Luckily, the larger size print and between the candles and my new ring light, I can see I don't even need my glasses. <laughs> so let's begin, but first let's relax, okay? And how are we gonna do that? We're going to signal our brain that it's time to relax. And we're gonna do that by making this a habit. We're gonna breathe in through our nose for a count of four. We're going to gently hold it for a count of four, and we're going to release on a count of four through our mouth. So, shall we? And that's only if you can. If you can't manage that, don't worry about it. Do what you can. This is all about you, okay? Okay, so ready? One, two, hold. Breathe out. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, and together, hold, and breathe out, very good. Make sure your lighting is the way you want it, but if you're trying to relax and go to sleep, no lit candles. You can have anything else, okay? But make yourselves comfortable. Put your back into whatever you're resting on. And listen up. <laughs> okay. So this first one is, I live in the flow of life and I openly accept what it brings. And this is a positive thinking and it gives us three things to think about. Ask yourself if there's anything you need to let go of today so that you are able to live in the flow of life. Close your eyes and imagine yourself being open to whatever joy life wants to bring you. And the third thing is, make time this week to immerse yourself in something that you love doing. Okay. Is there anything that I want to let go of today so that I can live in the flow? I would love to let go of self-doubt. Um, yeah, it holds me back. So I'm trying to let go of that today. And I can definitely imagine being open to life's joys. I really can. And immersing myself in something I love doing. Hello. <laughs> I love talking to all of you. I love connecting with you. I love reading your comments. I love responding. Okay, so let's try the next one. 
I joyfully release the habit of assuming the worst. Stop and remind yourself that whatever happens, you can cope. Two, write down at least three positive outcomes from something you are worried about. Three, focus on expecting the best and making an intention to focus on one of these positive outcomes as you go about your day. Okay, that's a lot to unpack. Um, and yeah, we can um, cope with whatever life throws at us, but sometimes it's hard. And I don't know about anybody else, but when depression or anxiety get a hold of me, I tend to, I, I gotta learn, figure out how to say this word properly on a first try, catastrophize. I said it. I tend to catastrophize a situation and assume the worst things that are going to happen. And my daughter actually, uh, we were working with her a few years ago and she said, okay, so what if this happens? I said, okay, what if it happens? What will we do? What will you do? How will you feel? How will you react? And when you think about that, like they're saying, write down positive outcomes. Um, I'm going to override that a little bit. Um, try to think about how you would handle a bad situation. And you can see positive outcomes coming from it. But um, yeah, we, we can cope with what life throws at us. Sometimes we just need to prepare ourselves. And other times we need to know maybe it's not going to happen. Maybe I'm assuming the worst because I need to mentally prepare for it. But in doing so, I'm not opening myself up to the best. Hmm. I don't know about you, but that's something I want to think about a bit. So, yeah. We cannot, I think the gist of this is we can cope. Okay? Sometimes not by ourselves, but we can cope. This next one is, I am clever, creative, and resourceful. One, write down at least five possible solutions for any given problem. Okay. Focus on some creative ways these solutions might manifest. Be open to whatever comes in and expect the best. Okay. Okay, five possible solutions to any given problem. Okay, um, what can a problem be? Okay, what if um, we're having people for dinner on Saturday and it's the first time I've entertained, I guess is the word, since I got sick? What if things don't go well? Uh, what if I wake up and don't feel well. Well, that's easy. I just call and reschedule. What if something burns? <laughs> this is my oldest friend in the world. If something burns, we'll order Chinese or pizza. It's easy peasy. <laughs> um, what if it doesn't go well? Then you know what? It doesn't go well. But I think it's going to. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to reconnect and it's going to be an enjoyable evening because I am expecting the best. So I don't know if that's actually what the card meant, but if I can try this, you guys can try this. Okay. So that's the last one I think where I'm going to give a personal example because you guys don't need to hear my, my tales of woe. I think I can read a few more and we can all have something to think about. Okay. I know that positive thoughts and actions can powerfully change my circumstances. Okay. Write down a positive intention for the day or for the week. Okay. I agree with that. You can do that. I'm not a big goal setter for the start of the day because you don't know what the day is going to throw at you. But an intention, 
Those are different than goals, right? Focus on the intention several times a day. Okay. An intention could be something as simple as, I will find beautiful things because everyone's idea of beauty is different. And several times a day, you can find something beautiful. Um, even my dog snoring is beautiful to me sometimes. <laughs> and then the third thing is, be proactive by seizing opportunities when they arrive. Expect things to happen. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure, but I like the other two a lot. <laughs> okay, I am grateful for all that I have and all that I am about to receive. Start a gratitude list by focusing on three things that you feel grateful for every morning or evening. Challenge yourself to keep expanding your list. Meditate and focus on the blessings in your life and notice how it shifts your thinking. Okay guys, this one we can do together because we have talked about gratitude journals before. Um, I think they're an amazing thing. I personally like to do them in the evening because I think it's a lot easier to fall asleep when your day is ending on positive notes, when you're listing the positives. And honeys, sometimes it's hard. Okay, sometimes the best positive you can come up with is my pillow feels good on my head tonight or um, there were warm muffins or but you know there's things we and not be expanding I say every day do five different or three whatever you feel is good for you um, but the fact that we're watching this together that you have electricity that you have technology, we're already better off than a lot of the world. So it's something that we're blessed with and that we can be grateful for, even when it's hard to find them, okay? All right. I see challenges as amazing opportunities for growth. The next time you are faced with a challenge, ask yourself how you can think differently. What can you learn from this challenge? And how can you turn this failure or challenge into something positive? Okay, we've talked about something like this a lot. Um, we've talked about there's no such thing as fail. Uh, remember we talked about the acronym for fail? First attempt in learning. And it's only a mistake if we don't learn from it. If we learn something from it, it's a life lesson. And that's a positive thing. We learn something. People who stop learning, I find are sad. And we can learn something about ourselves every day. Every single day. Every time you click on YouTube and you watch a video, you're learning something. And that person can learn something from you. You know, from your comments. And that's what I love about YouTube. And I'm not just talking about my channel, I'm talking about anybody that you watch, okay? It helps connect people. And that's a positive to me, I think it is. And if we do see something as a challenge, um, maybe it's a challenge to go out in a crowd. How can you turn that into something positive, okay? I planned ahead. I dealt with the crowd as small groups rather than as one large. Instead of walking in the room and seeing so many people, I just look to this side and see a small group of people. Sometimes just shifting your perspective that way can help us all. Okay. So let's try another one, shall we? I let go of all problems and welcome in new solutions. Yeah, no, sorry, that's stupid. I shouldn't say that, but it is. We can't let go of all of our problems because they're problems. They're what weigh on us. We can welcome in solutions, that's not a problem. But we can't let go of them all, okay? We can't hide our head in the sand and pretend they're not there. 
We need to deal with them. But we can deal with them in better ways. Sometimes we can't go head on into a problem. Sometimes we need to break that problem down into smaller portions and do that. And sometimes we need help with the problem. That's, you know, so sorry card. I There's some I'm not gonna agree with guys and I'm not gonna pretend I do, <laughs> sorry. I haven't read these, I like to read them with you guys. All right, I accept the infinite abundance of the universe. I am blessed. I can live with this one. Start shifting your mindset for repeating the affirmation every morning. Okay, saying I am blessed every morning is good. Saying thank you to whoever you thank is a good way to start. Picture yourself sitting under your tree of abundance. Okay, I can live with that. In a visualization technique, I can see that. Visualizing your tree of abundance with your blessings hanging from it. And you, I guess a card, you can pull down the card and read each blessing. He's almost losing me, but I've got it right now. Imagine this abundance is all around you. Pick the delicious fruit and see the blessings flowing in. Okay, I think we just talked about that so we can deal with that one. Okay, okay, okay. let's do uh, my life supports me and the universe supports me. I've got this. Mm -hmm. You have everything. You've got whatever problem you have. You've got this. You know why? Because you have you. And you are enough. I don't know what this card says yet, but I can tell you right now, you are good enough. You are enough. Okay? Shift your thinking by waking up and repeating the affirmation as you get out of bed. I've got this. I can live with you. You've got this. Hello day, I've got you. That's a great way to start. As you go through your day, assume that life always supports you. Okay, I can see where the, what they're saying is don't expect the worst, expect to have support all around you. And in that way, I suppose you're manifesting a confidence. Make an intention to experience every moment with a sense of fun, creativity, excitement, and a sense of freedom and joy. Okay, we can intend to do that. That's no problem. I like that idea. I, I, I will try to see the fun and the joy and the excitement in things today. We can do that. We can. Now, apparently there's other categories. Abundance and prosperity, health and relationship, confidence and self-esteem. I say we do this one, okay? <laughs> I enjoy new challenges and greet them with great confidence and optimism. Okay, see yourself as a superhero with some kind of super ability. Okay, I actually really believe that for all of us, especially um, if anyone is suffering from any kind of mental health, you already have a superpower because you're dealing with more than most and you're learning to have it be part of your life. You're learning that you're not broken, that this is just a part of you. That's a superpower. Okay. Imagine yourself overcoming obstacles with confidence and optimism. That goes right along, I think, with the whole, I've got this, I can do this. I may have to do it in baby steps, but I can do this. Welcome in new challenges with confidence and see yourself achieving great things. Yeah, okay, maybe. <laughs> challenges do help us to grow and evolve. Um, there's some challenges I could do without, <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, but we all have to roll with them, right? And we're all learning to roll with them. Every time you turn on an ASMR video, not just mine, guys, anybody's. You're helping yourself. You are finding a way to make yourself feel good, to 
make yourself relaxed, to make yourself calmer. You know, I think that's a pretty neat, neat superpower as it is. And I'm really proud of you guys that are doing it. Okay, how about we do one more? Okay. Um, I love who I am and especially who I am becoming. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Guys, I say this all the time to you. Love who you are, okay? And I know it's not easy. I'm 56 years old and I can honestly say I'm only just now learning to like myself. Um, not quite at the love part, but I'm, I'm definitely at the like part. And, you know, who I'm going to become, I love this. I don't know what this channel is going to grow into, but I love the, the, the idea of connecting with you guys, of if I can help anybody, that's great. You guys help me every time I read a comment or every time I know that you've liked a video. It makes me feel good and I love when you guys tell me I've helped you. Even if it's just to fall asleep, even if it's to relax, whatever it is. Okay, so what does it say? Tell yourself every morning that you love yourself no matter what. I completely agree with this one. And you know me, I've told you, just write it on a mirror. Use lipstick, use a post-it, whatever. Put it on a big piece of um, packing tape and stick it to your mirror. You are loved and you matter, okay? And I want you to be able to say that back to yourself because I love you and I know you matter. Okay, the next thing, think of some things you need to let go of to start loving yourself more. Okay, something I read recently, um, I saw an article and it said, things you should stop wearing after 40. Well, of course I figured that was gonna be a critical negative article so of course I had to read it right to make myself feel bad about myself it was great it was things like what you need to stop wearing is self-doubt uh, other people's judgments other people's expectations your past I love that idea that's the only thing we need to stop wearing guys so maybe think about that and do you really when you're having a bad moment, you think that, oh, I can't do that, or I can't wear that, or I can't be that. Why? Why can't you? Can you let go of that? It's a question. And the last thing they say, see yourself easily letting these things go and stepping into a new you. Well, I don't believe in new yous, okay? You're stepping into your authentic self. Um, it's not new. It's who you really are. You just got to get rid of those layers, right? We all do. The layers of judgment and doubt and hurt and pain, abuse. Um, everything that we are expectations of ourselves. We, we can let those go. Um, but you don't need to be a new you. I like you, okay? You just need to be your authentic self, person you are. And I think you're amazing. And I think you can do amazing things. And that was a great card to end this video on. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope it didn't give you too much to think about before bed. But think, you're, we'll all go to bed tonight thinking of a positive thing that happened to us during the day and a thing that we love about ourselves, okay? And I want you to always remember, I love you, I value you, I honor you, and I'm so very, very glad that you were born.